Rania from SMC Bikes in Sheffield. Um, part two of our series. Um, just going to run through how to connect your phone to the bike, how the Ducati Connect works, because uh, there's a few little tricks and tips that you might need to have. Um, so we'll take you through exactly how it works. So if you want to come a little bit closer, obviously it's keyless ignition. So you'll turn the bike on. And then if you look closer to the dash, you'll see on the top left, you'll see Ducati Connect. So main thing to, first thing to do is connect your phone. So you're going to your phone, you're going to your settings, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Um, mine's already connected, but it will be the same thing. You'll see the bike, Ducati. Um, so if you go to the dash now, if you go into menu, if you go all the way down into Bluetooth, click that, and if you click pairing, it should bring up your phone. Obviously mine's connected, it's already seen it. Um, as you can see there, Ryan's iPhone, my phone's connected. So you'll go back, as I'm going back, I'm just holding this button all the way to the left and it'll bring you back. So once your phone's connected, you'll see the blue items at the top, they'll light up. And then if you go to your phone, I'm connected. So I'll go out of there. I'll go back to Ducati Connect. These are the two apps that we mentioned. So Ducati Connect and Sigic. If you click into that, it will come up with a buffering item. And then you'll see it will go into vehicle mode. And on there, it will highlight it in white. So you'll see it. And all you do, obviously this is the case for it. Stick your phone in there and we're good to go. So if you go onto the Catty Connect, click into that. You've got your music, contacts, phone, and your sat nav. So if you go into any of these, you can, obviously if you have a headset, you can listen to any songs that you might have added. Um, your contacts, phone, um, you've got an item there. So these are your, you can add favorites or whatever you decide to do. I'd probably add favorites of people that you know you'd phone or that would phone you. And then as I'm going back, I'm always just going to the analog and I'm just pressing back and it will always take you back on the screen. So just think of that going left, it's just your back button. And this is the highlight of, uh, of the Ducati Connect is your sat nav. So if you click into that, this is a live sat nav and you've got four boxes over there so you can either zoom in or zoom out and you've got two different maps so you can go 2d or 3d um, and then if you click them three um, images there you can search an address so for example if we just search a random postcode get directions start and it's quite in detail on how the sat nav works. So if we just go back to our phone. So if you go into your Sigic app, two things to remember. If you take that off, cancel the route. So if you go into your settings and if you go down, you'll see Bosch mouse spin. Very important that you leave it on green. When you first download it, it will come up as that. You need to change it to um, Bosch Maspen and the app will then work. And that's all you need to do. Other than that, you just keep your phone locked, put it in your pack and everything will work as normal. So that's just a little bit of how to connect your phone, your Ducati Connect and how the SatNav works. Um, in the next episode, we'll be going through more the suspension and how to set it up because we have a new feature called auto leveling, which I'm super excited to share. Um, so I'll catch you on the next one.